If the mother tongue of your end users is not English, chances are you may want to give them option to change the language to their preferred language. This is called multilingual. In this video, I will show you how you can build multilingual applications in our systems. So you're looking at my service studio. I'm inside a reactive web application. I'm going to quickly uh, create a entity and maybe corresponding screen. So it's called customers. Customers can have full name, maybe address, maybe phone number, and just last one, email address. Now, corresponding to this, I'm going to create a new screen, something like this. Customers, I'm going to give it a title. And then uh, maybe do some columns here to create the form, which is like this. And within the form, there goes the entity. Next to the form, I can display maybe a list of customers. So list of customers. So once we save any of the customer here, the record will be shown up here. And this would maybe go in table records. And within the table records, we'll have the customer's entity. So we are listing. Uh, to make this work, let me just provide the logic of saving as well. So we'll use the this function, which is available in the entity to create it. And we'll pass it the ID of the current uh, video, I mean, uh, the uh, variable from the form. Thereafter, we'll also refresh the query that is bound to the table records, which is this one. So our application is working fine now. Now, coming back to the uh, to the multilingual part. Now, in the application here, you will notice the screen has many labels, many strings, like the page title, the labels on the form, as well as the uh, the title here and the headers on this table. All of these things are a string that would require translation in case you want to give your users a way to change the language. So for that, in our systems, you can switch to data tab. And you will notice under data tab, there is a folder called multilingual locales. You have to right click on this and you can then add a locale. Locale is, you know, in casual terms, it's like adding a language. So here you have a lot of options here. Choose a language that you want to translate to, for example, maybe German, uh, which would be this one, de dash de, that's the code. And once you do that, it shows you this uh, page where you are able to see all the strings in your application, and then you can provide a translation. So the platform does not automatically translate. It's not a language translation tool. But it gives you this avenue where you can now look at these strings and provide a translation. When you do that, make sure that uh, this filter is selected, show translate. It also gives you some statistics here, like how much to translate, how much not. Uh, you're also able to find out the location of which element and all. You should probably do this for an entire module. If you do it, uh, show all, it will give you probably potentially every string that is there in the application. You may not want to do that depending on your use case. In my case, I just want to focus on show translate here. So these are the most common strings that are there. If you notice, maybe starting from this point onwards, customers, this is uh, corresponding to the screen that I built just now. Uh, how do you know? You can just mouse over here on this location section and it can show you in the tooltip where exactly this particular artifact is coming from. So once you do that, like this is the, my page title, then the form labels and the uh, save button, headers of the table and so on and so forth, right? As you keep on building more screens, all those strings will show up here. Now what we need to do is under this column, translation DED, that's the locale that we are adding, we have to translate this and provide a translation. How will I do this? I will use uh, Google Translate. So here, uh, Google Translate works perfectly fine to provide this kind of translation. So customers, if you translate to German, it's Kunden, and I can copy it, go back to my ID, and just paste it, okay? Likewise, uh, to speed up my job, I've already done the translations. If you know of any other tool, that also should be okay. I have full name in two places, so I'm providing that. Address also in two places, here and in the table. And telephone number, likewise. And the last one, email address. So that's the form and table. We also have one for save button and one for list of customers. That's the translation. Okay, with this, we are done. I can save it. And then thereafter, one important point, how would you want to allow users to change the these kind of languages, right? So we have to give some options to the users 
to be able to change the language on the screen. Now, uh, doing this, you can do, although you can do this on the screen level also here, but uh, with that, you will have to provide this kind of options maybe in different screens. So the right place of uh, doing this kind of uh, application-wide features would be somewhere which is common, like a header or the login information, something like this. So in my case, I'm going to modify this uh, menu comp web block. Just double click so you're inside the menu web block. And I'm going to add the options here. What I want to do is perhaps uh, use the link. Of course, you can provide a drop down or a button, uh, whichever you prefer. I'm going to put two links here. First, I'm going to call German. As the name says, if user clicks on this, the language will be changed to German. And then if he clicks on this, the language will be turned back to English. Then uh, how to do that is basically the link. You have to provide on-click action. In here, you will create a new client action that uh, you then have to look for this specific action, client action called set current locale. And then in here, remember the code DE dash DE. That code is very important and I think it's uh, case sensitive. So make sure you provide exactly like how it is. So with this, uh, we have changed the language to German. Let's do the same thing for English as well. On click, new client action. And that set current locale. And in this case, the code is EN-US, which is the default language code for Awesome's applications. Now you might as well be able to do both the uh, clicks with the same client action. Uh, you can just toggle and uh, set, get the current context and then change it. That could be homework for you. Uh, let me just review if everything is okay. I think it looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and publish it to see how does it look. So with this, you can keep on adding more and more language options and then provide equivalent option on the screen for user to switch the language. So it's ready. I'm going to launch it. Okay. So how does this application work? Let me see if it's working fine. Maybe John Smith. Ching and save it's working fine so this is the language right now default which is english right so everything the title the labels the headers they're all in english now if i were to click on german you will see everything now changed to german language okay the save button the uh, translations here for the form and this here if i want to go back to english i can click on english and now i'm in english now i do also want to give you uh, show you a bit more uh, useful stuff about multilingual uh, typically in in application development uh, developers will be developing the application and if the application is very huge such a translation work right you may not want to uh, invest so much of time by yourself so what you can do in that case you can also export export language resources like this okay so in this case you can export something what it does it basically creates a, a file that you can then modify or pass on to uh, your BA or the business themselves to you know, provide a translation. And then when they provide translation after that, you can come back here and import, okay? Import that language and it will create the language translation for you automatically. So let me show you that. It's here, the exported Excel sheet, something like this. So what it says is, this is the one currently I have, it's exported. And if you want to add new one, like it's giving the instruction here, just add a new column, let's say E N. Uh, or PTPT, which I think is Portuguese. Provide this, and then you can provide the translation. So this file itself here, you can pass on to your BAs or your uh, uh, business users, and they can help you providing translation. Later on, once you have this file filled in, you go back to your IDE and then import these files. Okay. Once you import, let me try that actually. So I'm going to just not do any changes and just create a column and close it. Then I'm going to import it. And you can see here, now I have a Portuguese level. So what is left for me to do is modify the screen to have one more option for Portuguese, okay? How does it look in a proper application? So I have my other environment here. It's a full-fledged application called Auto Management. And if you see uh, the multilingual locales here, it has so many options in here there. And every of these language has their translation. So you can see here, this is Russian. Uh, let's say Vietnamese, okay? Uh, some of the complex ones like Japanese, the characters are a bit, okay, so can also be done. Uh, how does it look on the screen? Basically, this is the application. In this case, uh, 
the UI that the developer has chosen is has an option like this. It shows up in a pop-up. Okay, so depending on whichever language you want to change, for example, Chinese, they select it and the language is changed behind. So you can see the labels are changed. Thanks for watching.